John Travolta as a James Bond villain? It may not be as far-fetched as it sounds. In a recent interview, Travolta talked a little bit about how he has always wanted to play a bad guy in the 007 series and suggested it could happen when he said the following. I would love that. They're going a different way with their villain in this next film, but I've spoken to Barbara Broccoli about it and she loves the idea. So that would be great. Amy Rose, buy or sell Travolta as a Bond villain. I'm actually okay with this. I'm going to buy it. Uh, Travolta has played a villain a couple times over, so it's not really a far-fetched idea. Not to mention he's played a very smooth gangster in films like, you know, Pulp Fiction or Get Shorty, and I feel like that kind of suaveness would be a really good villain in a Bond film. He has a tough act to follow after Javier Bardem. He was right. incredible in Skyfall. Um, so, yeah, he definitely has his work cut out for him, but I know with everything going on in his career, he needs a really good role like this, and I think Sam Mendes would provide that for him him. Um, so yeah, I think he has the, the chops to, to be a good villain in a Bond film, personally. Yep. I'm going to sell it. Uh, and it, I'm not against John Travolta. He's revamped his career multiple times. He was mm. like, oh, he's a washout. Barbara, you know, get out of here. All of a sudden, Pulp Fiction. So, you know, we know he can re revive his career. I just can't see him as a bad guy in the James Bond franchise. I mean, we've seen him play bad guys in Face Off. We've seen him play mm -hmm. bad guys in, I think he was in Swordfish, he was the mastermind. You Broken, know. Arrow. Broken, Broken Arrow. Broken Arrow. Yeah, Broken Arrow is a great <laughs> point, but just, just, that just rings wrong. And it just rings to me like, hey, it's somebody stumping. You know, I'd love to be a Bond villain, says, you know, X. You know, that doesn't mean they're gonna be a Bond villain. Eh, talk to the producer, they like me. So <laughs> it could just be that. I, I seriously <sighs> doubt he's in any contention to be a, a, a James Bond villain. He's not a, up for it. Uh, that's my guess. So I'm going to buy it he hesitantly and, and with a razor thin margin, but because the name in this story that you really have to pay attention to isn't even really John Travolta's name. It's uh, Broccoli's name. Yeah. Who has been like one of the senior people of all things Bond since 1995. Yeah. Um, she is a power player in the world of James Bond. If she wants something. She's the power player. Yeah. She's <laughs> probably going to get it, notwithstanding what uh, Mendez wants yeah. for, for stuff like that. And if she. If, if Travolta's telling the truth, and she actually has it in her head that she wants Travolta, then I think your chances almost become 50-50. I mean, I'm sure she's got to get the approval of Mendes. She won't do something against Mendes if he doesn't want it. Might I bring up Battlefield Earth? <laughs> oh! Leverage! 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 We have mm. leverage! Breathe gas. <laughs> mm. Bring forth the breathe but gas. Here's the thing about Travolta. Travolta, to me, is in a much smaller scale, all right? has a little bit of Matthew McConaugheyism in it. Remember, there was like a seven-year period where everybody would laugh when you'd mention Matthew McConaughey's name. Right. And we would always say, look, yeah. laugh all you want. This dude's a real actor. Maybe he's making yeah. some questionable career choices, but the dude can act. You look at even recent films, like I thought he did a really good job, uh, Paris with Love, was that the one where he was he like, I thought he was really good in that. I loved him in Face Off. I think he's done Villainous pretty well from time to time. He's been in a couple of bad things as well. Pelham, uh, taking Pelham one. Yeah, <laughs> not such Ouch. a good turn for him. Um, Wild Hogs is something we'll avoid. But, you know, he, he was, nobody talks about his performance in Hairspray. I thought he was fantastic in Hairspray. It's a real silly role and you everything. You brought Hairspray into this I one. brought up Hairspray. Man. I'm putting Hairspray <laughs> on the table. Um, I even thought that as all the weaknesses that were in it, I actually thought his FBI agent character in Savages was actually a pretty solid I, part yeah, of that film. Yeah, I did too. Um, so, questionable decisions. Is he a bit of a whack job lunatic off camera? Maybe, that's what I hear. Right. But, but don't undercut the fact that this dude has acting talent. Sure does. And if Broccoli's behind it, would I pick it? No. Right. But it's it's possible. All right, I'll hesitate. I'll just hesitantly sell it. Okay, well, fair enough. Uh -huh. And I'll then hesitantly buy. buy it. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to AMC Movie News on YouTube. It's free and a great way to stay updated with all the latest movie news, and check out our daily show, AMC Movie Talk. Also, don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Twitter to stay in the loop for our special prizes, giveaways, and contests.